G'day, my name's Ian Malcolm and today I'm going to talk to you about a traditional aspect of carpentry, joinery, etc. We're going to have a look at what we call the raking mould. And the raking mould, we start off simply with um, a piece of rectangular timber and we give it a bit of shape. In this case we're just going to come in a little bit, come up a little bit and give it one plane. So we've, we call that now the given mould. Once we've got our given mould, we're going to turn it up, turn the angle to 30 degrees and we pick 30 degrees because of the simplicity. Most of us have got a 60-30 set square, we can do it that or if we're current and modern, we'll use our iPhone and we'll go 30, 10 by 100 and that will give me the rise for 30 degrees. How you get it's up to you. We've got to do a drawing of the whole process and from that drawing we'll get the shape that the moulds become at the top and we'll get the shape that the mould becomes at the bottom. Also we'll work out how to do the cuts. You know, the cuts just appear like mitres but for the carpenters amongst us they're actually creeper cuts and if we follow the same principles as drawing, uh, cutting roofing creepers, we'll do the same. But in the drawing, we'll develop it up that angle so that it will allow us to cut it. Next, once we've got both the top mould, the bottom mould and the given mould, we're going to attach it to a post and the finished product look, should look something like this. Okay, now it's a combination of skills that have got us there. We've had to draw it, we've had to plane it accurately, we've had to cut it accurately, set it out, lots of things. Anyway, I hope you enjoy it and I'll show you step by step through the drawing shortly. Thank you.